How do you improve your clarity of thought and communication? I know that we have all been in a situation where a friend, family member, or even business colleague has asked you some sort of question or you've been at dinner and you want to impose and give your and express your thoughts on, on a manner or a subject and your brain just goes completely blank. And all these things that you may have studied in the past, learning at school or reading books or listening to podcasts or Audible is just gone. Regardless of how much you think you know about a subject, the words just don't come. And that is one of the worst feelings in the entire world. When your brain just goes completely blank and you just, you can't think of the words that you need to say. That's how I used to constantly feel no matter what. And it drove me crazy. But then I realized that communication is not your ability to think, but your ability to express your thoughts. And you need to train it as if it was a muscle because I don't think any of us would expect to be able to run a marathon without training for it. Why would we expect to be able to run a mental marathon via communication and being able to express ideas that are in our heads without ever practicing? That is a very arrogant thing to think. So how do you actually practice so you can become a better communicator, so you can close more business deals, so you can talk to people better and be better uh, and, and expand your lexicon? I mean, it is a wonderful feeling to be asked a question or if you are at dinner, be able to express your thoughts in a coherent manner that makes sense and have a discussion going back and forth. It's the complete opposite of the feeling when your mind just goes blank and you have unlimited thoughts that you can just express effortlessly. And I know we don't all know people who can talk just so well. Uh, I'm surrounded by them. But the reason why is because they've practiced so much. So one of the big things that I do is first, you need to turn all this jargon, this jargon that we shuffle through all the all, all throughout the day and condense it. So something that I do that actually really helps is whenever I'm listening to a book, uh, some sort of podcast ever, whenever I'm at work and some sort of idea comes to my head when I'm at the gym, when I'm on a run, when I'm playing pickleball, when I'm driving, anytime I'm doing anything and I have some sort of idea that gets spurred, I write it down either in my notes app or I text it to myself and I try and condense it to where is if I was teaching it to myself. And this is something that I've been doing for quite a while and it actually helps tremendously because most of what we learn, we completely forget. I remember when I was 18 years old and I was studying for quite literally 10, 12 hours per day on business, uh, macroeconomics, trying to figure out the world around me. And I would listen to no, book after book, I would read book after book, podcast after podcast for 10 plus hours a day. And then I realized I didn't know anything. I went to an event and I couldn't express any of the ideas that were in my head. No, no matter that I spent hundreds of hours, quote unquote, studying it, I never turned someone else's ideas into my own. It was kind of like that scene from Goodwill Hunting where that guy tries to pick up that girl in the bar from Harvard and he's reciting a paragraph from some sort of book that he read to try and sound smart. But those ideas are not his. He doesn't know everything that goes into building those ideas and those thoughts. So when you hear something profound on a podcast and you want to try and regurgitate it, I would say don't write these things down word for word. Write them down in a way that makes sense for you, that you can formulate into an idea based off the past experience you've had in life to where that and why that actually correlates to you. Because then it's actually a lot easier to relate it and express it. Uh, and, and if, if you think that you know something, just ask yourself some simple why questions, like why or what, or how is this actually happening? You'll realize you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And that goes to the biggest thing that has helped me more than anything. And the, the reason why I'm going to suggest this to absolutely everybody is because not everybody can practice talking to someone else about whatever field they were in. When I was studying macroeconomics, I didn't know a single other person who enjoyed what I was talking about. So you can't call someone up on a phone and bounce ideas back and forth off each other. And a lot of people are in, that, are in that situation. It took me a long time until I had a few friends where I could call up and we would have phone calls pretty much every single night trying to discuss these complex topics and condense it into the easiest to understand concepts. But if you don't have someone like that, that you can talk to, turn on your camera and force yourself to talk because it is 
remarkably harder than you think. And you instantly find out how little you know about a subject and how much you thought that you knew. If let's say I just, just promise yourself, let's say there's something that you're studying. This is going to be one of the biggest hacks that has helped my communication skills. And every other person that I know of that have done this, they are just so much better of a communicator because you were continuously training the muscle. If Why would you expect to not to get better at running? Let's say you're training for a marathon if you never practice. You've got to practice every single day. Just like if you were working out, if you want to see some sort of muscle gain, if you want to become really good at pull-ups, you would got to start doing pull-ups. So record yourself for 10 minutes and just talk to you about something. Have some sort of general idea of a subject that you want to discuss based upon something that you've learned in the past, and you'll instantly find out that you know nothing about it. At least for the first one or two minutes, it will probably be painfully awkward to just sit and watch yourself mumble and not be able to have a stringent of sentences and then continuously pause and think, what the hell was I talking about? What am I going to talk about next? That happens continuously. But you would never expect to be able to run a marathon if you'd never practiced for it. So just give yourself 10 minutes. And the first two minutes, it's kind of like if, you were, if you're warming up and you're running and in your breathing cadence is off, right? When you start running, maybe you haven't ran for a long time and you're, you're just not getting the proper oxygen levels and you're not breathing properly. You, then you start to think about your breath and then you're hyper-focused on it. Why doesn't this feel good? What the hell's going on? Then your body is still tight because you just started running. Your ligaments are sore. That's how it feels when you first initially start talking. It seems like you just need like an oil change throughout your body, but eventually your body warms up. Same thing when you're talking. So Get past like the three, four minute mark and it will become a hell of a lot easier. So it's turning ideas into your own. You got to teach yourself or as if you were teaching somebody else these concepts, because if you can't teach somebody else what you know, then you don't really know it and to at least the degree that to where you can express it. And if you can't express the ideas you have in your head, it is going to be remarkably hard to get ahead a, a in life. If you are ever in a job interview and you can't express the idea, even if you are the best candidate, they are not going to take you because they don't think that you can do what you say you can do. Or maybe you can't even tell them what you can do. Or for me, where I'm at nonstop business meetings that people are taking me to, to where I can help out other people, I have to be able to express my ideas in a very condensed and easy to understand level so other people can understand them or no one's going to take you seriously. The two main things, and I do this every single day intentionally, anytime I have an idea, I write it down because that's the really the only way I remember. And then I can actually go back. You probably had many ideas throughout today or something that sparked your, your interest to a pretty high degree, but then eventually you just forget about it because you go back to scrolling on your phone, you go back to listening to another podcast, you do something else, and you forget about the things that you learned earlier in the day, which is why I just try and write it down. It takes no time, and it starts to really drive the creative thinking because the, the clarity of thought is forced onto a page, and you are actually articulating what you are thinking right now, which would instantly help you communicate it better if you were to talk to somebody. So then you're just taking what you wrote down and then you make an, a, a, a full video I, I breaking down the, that idea to a much further degree, just working your brain in a few different ways. So this is practicing for when you're in these types of communication situations and your brain just doesn't freeze up. It is training your muscles, which is what you need to do. I don't think any of us are naive enough to think that we could run a marathon without ever running. Why do we think that we could talk and speak like the best minds in the world without ever practicing communicating? That's I, I always just thought, oh, I'm not a good speaker. I'm not good at talking. I always used to mumble. I used to slur my words. I could never think. I could never get any thoughts out. I literally had such a problem with this. Okay. So what? <laughs> I think I truly believe that just about anybody can run a marathon. Some people are going to have to train for one month. Some people are going to have to train for five years and doing every single micro stretch and doing every single thing. But you can, if you have the mental fortitude, push your body to the limit and run a marathon. Just about everybody without some sort of um, some sort of freak accident that's happening or some sort of disability. 
if you trained your 100% best, you could do it. And I think that's the same way with learning and same thing with articulating or same thing with communicating or same thing with business or same thing with anything. It's just most of us don't put in any effort for whatever we are trying to do. And then we just say, we are, I'm bad at math. Okay, well, why is that? You probably never try. And trust me, if you do try recording yourself and talking about something, you will get stuck and it's going to suck. And I, I, that is one of the, something that I can promise you. It's really just, will you do it for a hundred days? That's why I swore to myself I do this for a thousand. This isn't, that's not the only reason, but that is one of them. Anyway, I can't stress how important and how much, how, how developed my life has been because of in increasing my communication skills. It has provided me an unlimited opportunity to provide a more income for myself because I can express the ideas in my head better. So I don't think people realize how important it is for anything that you want to do in life. It's just you got to practice, which most people don't practice anyway. Anything, anyway. Goodbye.